up guys welcome to another video today we are reviewing moon knight episode four this was to come out on wednesday and stars oscar isaac as moon knight now before we start to click that like button subscribe the post notification bell so you're going to have a video let's just start it let's start talking about the good so the opening recap of the previous episode i thought it was good it gives all the information of that previous episode in the beginning of this episode so that you actually understand what happens throughout this entire episode um, the opening sequence, I thought it was good. Um, it's basically just Mark Spector and Layla in the desert. Um, that's the entire opening sequence, them just talking about what they're going to do um, and what their plan is going throughout this episode. And I thought it worked for the start of this episode. Um, there's also a great continued relationship between Mark Spector and Layla. I really, really liked um, what they did with those two characters in this episode. And the relationship from the beginning of this episode to the end of the episode is very very well done very well handled um the maze tomb adventure sequence is very very fun it's mark specter and layla just going through the tomb um sort of like indiana jones kind of um with that national treasure sort of vibe to it and i really really like that um the dialogue i thought it was great especially between arthur harrow and layla and arthur harrow and mark specter the dialogue for this episode is fantastic um the psychiatric hospital sequences, I thought they were very, very well done, um, especially Mark Spector as a mental patient and Stephen Grant as his normal self, as well as um, Arthur Harrow, who plays a psychiatrist in this episode. It's, it's really weird what they do with Arthur Harrow because he is, of course, Arthur Harrow, uh, the villain, but he's also a psychiatrist in this episode, which... It was fine for me, it worked because it was weird and I didn't understand really what was happening with that sequence. Um, but then again, it is the multiverse, I guess. I guess that is what they're trying to get to. Um, so I thought it worked. Um, the jump scares, there are some great jump scares in this episode. This is definitely leaning more towards the horror side of Moon Knight. This is definitely the, um, I'd say scariest of the Moon Knight episodes. Um, because the jump scares are great, especially the Egyptian corp jump scare. Very, very well done. Um, there are also, like I said, more horror elements throughout this episode. For example, there's blood and bones in that maze that they're going through um, throughout the entire episode. There's a lot of blood, there's bones. Um, and I really like how Moon Knight is diving into that horror element. Of course, we have Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness coming up. So that's going full on horror. So I really, really like the horror elements in this episode. Um, there are some tense sequences in this episode as well, especially Mark and Layla in the tomb um, with an Egyptian corpse. That sequence is very, very tense. Um, there are also many hilarious sequences, of course, mainly with Mark Spector, who's played by Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac, fantastic in this episode once again, um, and he is very, very funny in this episode. Um, and the ending sequence, I thought it was hilarious. I thought the ending sequence was very, very funny. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be funny. But I found it funny. It's the talking Egyptian hippo. He finds Mark Spector and Stephen Grant in the mental hospital. That's basically the end. There's a talking hippo. And I just thought it was hilarious. That's all the good that I have. Now let's move on to the bad. So this is the first episode of a Marvel TV show that I found something bad in. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there were some bad things in it. Um, but this one is the only one that I chose to describe. Uh, so some sequences in this episode do drag a bit and I wouldn't have included this if it wasn't a major um, thing that I saw in this episode because there are some sequences that go on for too long and I think they could have condensed some of them. Um, but that's about it. Moon Knight episode 4 is a good continuation of Moon Knight um, and I highly recommend it and I'm going to give Moon Knight episode 4 a B+. Plus. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and post notification bell so you can know if you're a video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.